Hey, so in this video I'm going to be doing, doing the Easter eggs and predictions for Season 4, Episode 13 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so beware spoilers if you have not caught up. So, this episode was basically a big, uh, like, focus on the character Shockley, and, uh, I was technically wrong, and I was technically right about, uh, the, a character called, uh, Nitro, uh, and, uh, for, for what he is in the MCU, uh, Shockley is Nitro, but what I, uh, previously predicted, uh, was that, uh, the Superior was gonna be, uh, I was called uh, Nitro just because of this synopsis alone, because we didn't know who the new Inhuman was going to be, but I just assumed it was going to be uh, the Superior, but it, it turns out it's not. And there was actually hints towards this uh, throughout the other episodes. Uh, it was called, I believe it was the last episode, and when I uh, was talking about the Pleasant Hill uh, prison in eight, uh, the comics, and it was like, I was basically explaining it that it, was connecting to Mr. Hyde and the Tahiti program and stuff like that. And, uh, but it could have been also hinting at, uh, Nitro, because Nitro was actually one of the prisoners in that, uh, like, uh, one of those prisoners in that town, so it's possible that they're hinting that, at that. And, uh, when Ada went to attack the Watchdogs, uh, Sh Shockley went to try to fight back, and he uses his right arm to punch Ada, and Ada grabs it and destroy like try like tries to like bend it backwards and like break break it or whatever, and that was basically a nod to uh, who he is in the co what he is in the comics and he has no right hand, he literally has no right hand and it's kind of like how uh, Agent Shield has had been hinting at uh, the possibility of Yo Yo losing her arms and having being replaced with a robotic arm, uh, so that's what it was basically doing there, and. The biggest one was actually uh, Senator Nadir's office. Uh, when when we uh, when Shield went to go in, uh, plant bugs and everything like that, they have like a close up of her sign, and it says Stanford uh, Stanford Wing uh, or Stam Stanford, yeah. And uh, in the comics, uh, Nitro is actually the cause of civil war because he ki basically one of the causes, and he. Uh, because he killed a bunch of people in Stanford, Connecticut. So, uh, since we're de dealing with the aftermath, they're c trying to connect like story elements and stuff like that into uh, the Civil War uh, like storyline in the MCU. So by bringing uh, uh, what's called uh, Nitro in and all the kind of stuff, and they basically had to replace this. This uh, this is more of a personal story to the Shield, not the, the like the. Uh, Shield. It's more of a personal story to Shield and not uh, the heroes of uh, the universe. But so this is gonna be more of an I impact. Like this incident is gonna be more impact on Shield since uh, the government are have are having a lot of tr uh, trouble trusting uh, the the Inhumans. Or they're probably a lot of the uh, public eye do not like like uh, Shield that a lot, so it's probably going to cause a lot more impact, it's going to be a lot more, uh, like, dangerous and, like, bad stuff is going to happen because of this one instance of, uh, Metro blowing up and killing, uh, the senator. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they also, like, in this episode, they, uh, basically took, uh, what, how they defeated, uh, Nitro in the comics, uh, by, uh, having uh, Dick Quake blow him up and he regenerates and stuff like that and that's and they basically replaced uh, Iron Man with Quake in this uh, but yeah they have like winks and nods to uh, Star, uh, Star, uh, Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica uh, uh, when Daisy went to say frack uh, and people s assumed it said another word but it is the word frack and, uh, they have, like, they name-dropped Talbot, they, uh, name-dropped, like, Steve Rogers and Cap how, uh, Mace is never going to be the Captain America, which is still really funny to me, uh, because it is, he is the Captain America, uh, in the co a Captain America. Uh, they reference, uh, Agent Piper again, she, we are going to see her again, but she hasn't appeared in a while, uh, but apparently she, She's actually training Mace and like trying to uh, help help him be a better fighter because 
he is pretty much a weak person right now. And uh, I'm hoping that they still, like I said before, I still hope that they somehow keep uh, LMD May around and uh, keep, like, let her be the trainer of uh, new recruits and stuff like that, and possibly be the recruit, uh, like, the new, uh, like, the trainer of uh, Mace. Uh, they, and they, I don't know if this was intentional, but it has to be, uh, what's called. N when, uh, f like, Fitz, is, Fitz and Simmons is, like, prison that, uh, they made for Nitro to catch him in, uh, they j made a giant Pokeball, and that, that could not have been, uh, by accident. Like, it's a giant Pokeball. Like, everyone has, I've seen that's watched the, sh the show has said it's a po giant Pokeball. So, uh, but, yeah, they also, like, this is, like, funny, the way that it happened, like, how, uh, th this episode took, uh, was aired right after the Super Bowl, and, uh, uh, Mace's, uh, like, character, or the character Mace kept talking in, uh, football metaphors, and, uh, and it's just kind of weird, like, why did you let, let Mace, like, the writers of S.H.I.E.L.D. let a mace be the one talking football terms, but then you have to remember that he's actually the Patriot, and pa the Patriot, uh, Patriots are the are one of the peop uh, teams that were playing in the football game, so, and they won, so it's it's funny that they kind of in intentionally predicted the future with by uh, letting Mace say all these football terms technically. Uh, they, uh, then they have, like, uh, met, like, uh, name drops from, uh, uh, what's called, uh, Colton's past and all that kind of stuff with his time working with the Avengers and having, getting stabbed with an Asgardian staff, uh, how he went crazy, uh, when Rosalind died and brought Hyde back, uh, and, uh, then, speaking of Hyde, um, uh, they... Radcliffe mentions uh, his previous benefactor and how his uh, goals are, were a lot different than uh, Anton's and uh, these crystals are more pure and they won't affect humans and people were wondering how why, how and why do they not uh, affect humans uh, like they did in season 2 and that's because uh, this is the, the MCU version like I don't know the science behind it I don't think it would actually work this way but Apparently, the diviner metal that actually affected the uh, the inhu uh, the affected humans were left in the bottom of the ocean when Daisy dr uh, dropped it in the ocean, and and when it came out, the diviner metal just stayed at the bottom of the ocean, and it just it, it doesn't like the crystals just doesn't doesn't affect humans af after that. Uh, so yeah, and uh, I can't confirm or deny that this was actually a uh, connect like a like a connection or, uh, between two shows, but the character of Agnes uh, is played by uh, Mallory Jensen, and she was on another ABC show called uh, Galavan, and uh, Agnes wore a similar uh, necklace, like it was a metal circle, to uh, a, her character in Galavan. So, since Galavan was canceled in an ABC show, it's possible that they just brought back uh, brought uh, props to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it just so happened to be back on uh, Maladrin's neck. So yeah. Uh, and throughout this episode, like I've, uh, I've been pointing out, that it's bit uh, for Colton, it's been basically a lot of, uh, what's called, uh, me like memory uh, going down memory lane and all that kind of stuff. And uh, one of the writers and like, the uh, directors of sh uh, this episode actually point, uh, pointed it out that this there was actually a, a hidden reference to, uh, what's called, uh, Lola, her, uh, Coulson's car. Uh, when, uh, Mount, when we first meet, uh, Agnes, uh, one of, like, the actual cafes she's actually in, uh, it says Caf de Lola, and that was, that's the reference there, but, uh, throughout this, uh, like, the, her, their scenes together, Colton and Agnes and Old Mac and stuff like that. There's other, uh, like, other billboards, like, and, like, logos and stuff like that. I don't know how to pronounce these words, so I'll put them down below. So, and I've, 
it's called I translated it in Google and stuff like that. But one of them came up as fr friendly Camilla, and the only Camilla we we know from Agents of Shield, as far as I remember, is from season one of episode two and episode, episode two Camilla Reyes, and she I wouldn't personally call her friendly. She could have been friends with Colson back in the day, like what I was what we're talking about memory lane and all that kind of stuff. So, but uh, to go full circle on this, one of the the last billboard I think I saw was uh, translated to memories. So it goes full circle there. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and for predictions, uh, since we know Agnes is now back, is now with Radcliffe, and knows what May looks like, and is now in the framework. And as far as I understand, the framework is actually a giant world. You can interact with people and all all that kind of stuff. So. I think Agnes went in there, in there as a Trojan horse to get May out to rescue her. Like she basically sacrificed herself for to bring May back to uh, the Shield team. That's what I'm thinking there. And one of the prediction, my predictions, basically uh, was destroyed in this episode uh, with uh, the whole Mr. Hyde formula or pills in the comics was the big aspect of. Uh, the all-new Ghost Rider comics, and I had just assumed since uh, Anton was a big uh, person that uh, did not like how uh, Inhumans don't earn it or whatever, it's, it was possible that uh, Anton would have grabbed uh, the serum that uh, Mace was using and injected him himself, but since we find out uh, Mace could die by using uh, this Serum. I don't think that's any like I don't think that would be a possibility anymore because I don't think Anton wants to die. So yeah. And uh, this pretty much confirm like this episode pretty much confirms that uh, BJ when whenever he gets out of the crystal or his uh, cocoon he will work with Shield because uh, even though uh, Ellen was actually a mean person he she actually killed the, her own brother. Uh, it's still they are still related and still his sister, so she he probably still wants to get revenge on the Watchdogs, and the only way, way to do that is to help uh, Shield. And uh, this one, and this episode basically even more confirmed it. Even though the last episode when they revealed uh, Radcliffe LMD uh, or a couple episodes ago uh, threw me for a loop that uh, that was in the second LMD. But it still could have been another, there could have been a, there's still another twist coming. And I, this one furthers, uh, the, my theory about Fitz being uh, the LMD since, uh, this LMD start, uh, arc started. And, uh, cause, we, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents learn from their mistakes, unlike other shows that I watch. Uh, and, uh, they're actually building a LMD security system that t detects LMD. And it went off when someone went in into the this room, and it made it seem like it was just a random object, but it could have been any one of those three people that set the alarm off. And the only one of those three we know is Fitz, as far as I could tell. I don't remember any of the other two, the other two people. So, yeah, it has to be Fitz. So comment down below what I uh, you thought of this episode, if and if I missed any Easter eggs and references and. Any predictions you want to see in the next in the future episode? See ya.